Welcome to the ACE Pilot Academy. Have you ever heard of the term zero side slip? When it comes to one engine in operative performance, this is achieved in a zero side slip condition. What is zero side slip? During flight in any airplane, zero side slip is the airplane's longitudinal axes paralleling the relative wind. This can be easily seen using a yaw string. A yaw string is a piece of string about 18 to 36 inches in length taped somewhere along the centre line between the nose to the base of the airplane's windshield. During one engine in operative flight, a combination of aileron and rudder helps establish zero side slip. Adequate altitude, flying speed and caution should be maintained if attempting these manoeuvres. With a fully operational airplane, side slip is eliminated when the ball of the inclinometer is centred. Drag is at its minimum in this zero side slip condition. When a multi-engine airplane is being flown with an inoperative engine, the ball centred is no longer the indicator of zero side slip due to asymmetric thrust. Actually, there is nothing within the aircraft that directly indicates a zero side slip condition. When we don't have a yaw string, there is a predetermined condition to establish zero side slip using a bank angle and ball position. Since the AFM POH performance charts for one engine in operative flight were determined at zero side slip, this technique should be used to obtain the charted OEI performance. To counteract asymmetric thrust during an engine failure, two control inputs are used. The first is yaw from the rudder, and second, horizontal component of lift, which is the result from bank using the ailerons. Rudder or bank alone would not give you the proper zero side slip and best climb performance, but using the proper combination of rudder and aileron would provide a proper zero side slip and best climb performance. If we have one engine in operative flight with wings level and ball centered, this will require a large rudder input towards the operative engine. This would give you a moderate side slip toward the inoperative engine. Climb performance is reduced because of the moderate side slip. With wings level, VMC is significantly higher than published as there is no horizontal component of lift available to help the rudder combat asymmetrical thrust. If we were to use ailerons alone in a one engine in operative situation, it would require an 8 to 10 degree bank angle toward the operative engine. This assumes no rudder input and the ball is displaced well towards the operative engine and climb performance is greatly reduced by the large side slip toward the operative engine. This should not be demonstrated in the aircraft due to the increased risk of loss of control. Rudder and ailerons used together in the proper combination result in a bank of approximately 2 to 3 degrees towards the operative engine. The ball is displaced approximately one third to one half toward the operative engine. This results in a zero side slip and maximum climb performance. Any attitude other than zero side slip increases drag and decreases performance. The condition of zero side slip when it comes to bank angle and ball position may vary slightly from model to model and with available power and airspeed. If the airplane is not equipped with counter-rotating propellers, it also varies slightly with the engine failed due to P-factor. This zero side slip ball position for straight flight would also be the same position for turning flight. The actual bank angle for zero side slip varies among airplanes from one and one half to two and one half degrees. The position of the ball varies from one third to one half of a ball width from instrument center toward the operative engine. During some flight training scenarios, instructors simulate propeller feathering. The pilot will set power on one engine to mimic that of a feathered propeller. This is known as zero thrust. With an engine set to zero thrust and the airplane slowed to VYSE, a climb with maximum power on the remaining engine will show the precise bank angle and ball deflection required for zero side slip and best climb performance. I hope this gives you a better understanding of zero side slip. Thanks for joining us at the ACE Pilot Academy. See you next time.